Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to use keyframes to animate titles and other things in LumaFusion. When I first started editing video and I wanted to find out about keyframes, it seemed really complicated because I looked all over YouTube and I couldn't find anybody that could explain the concept in simple enough terms. Everyone seemed to make it sound really complex, but it's actually not complex at all. Basically, a keyframe is a point on a timeline at which something happens or something changes. And in LumaFusion, keyframes are added inside the clip in the edit page. So let's say we wanted to use a keyframe to animate a title sliding across the screen from the side and then fading away. So here we are in LumaFusion and this is our main clip. Nice bit of scenery. What we want to do is go down to the bottom, click the plus symbol and choose overlay title. Stretch it to the length of our main clip. And then we're going to double tap on it to enter the edit page. And we're going to edit our text by double tapping on the text. And we'll just type title. Now we're going to go to frame and fit, go right to the beginning of the clip, and then we're going to move a few seconds in to where we want our title to land and add a keyframe. Then we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip, move the position slider until the title is off screen and add another keyframe. So when it plays back, it'll look like this. I'm gonna stop it towards the end where we want it to fade away. I'm gonna go down to blending, add a keyframe, and then go right to the end of the clip and take that opacity slider down to zero. And LumaFusion will automatically add another keyframe at the end there. So all together, it looks like this. Now using keyframes, you can apply these exact same principles to affect pretty much anything at all, including audio, colour, everything. Okay, so let's apply the same principles using keyframes to create cinema style end credit titles. The same process, we're going to go down to the plus, choose overlay title, stretch it to the length of the clip, double tap on it, then we're going to edit our text, we'll just type title, we're going to go to frame and fit again, and this time we're going to use the Y position slider to pull the title down to the bottom of the screen, add a keyframe when it's off the screen. Then we're going to move over to the end of the clip and add another keyframe with the title at the top of the screen. And this is how it plays through. So you can see how the title moves between those keyframes. You could use keyframes to resize and shape a picture in picture. Let's say you wanted to use a keyframe to desaturate a clip. You could go into color and effects, add a keyframe at the beginning, one in the middle and one at the end, and then just alter that saturation slider to zero in the middle and then back up to 100 again at the end. You can use a keyframe in frame and fit to do jump zooms and 
these kind of dramatic zoom effects. You can even use keyframes to alter the intensity of effects and looks. So let's try something a bit more complex this time. Let's try a title that grows from nothing and then shrinks back down to nothing. So here we are in Luma Fusion again. Same process, go down to the plus icon, choose overlay title, stretch it to the length of the clip, and I'm gonna double tap on it, edit the text. We'll type title again. Then we're gonna to go to frame and fit. Go right to the beginning of the clip, move in a couple of seconds to where we want the clip to be at its full size and add a keyframe. Then we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip and take that size slider down to zero. So you can see as it passes through the keyframes, it grows like that. Now we'll stop it just before the end where we want it to start shrinking, add another keyframe and then go right to the end of the clip and drag that size slider down to zero again. So it plays through like this. So again, you can see how that title changes as it moves through the keyframes. So once you figure out how to use keyframes, it really opens up a whole new world of creative possibilities with your video editing. And despite what almost every other tutorial seems to want you to believe, keyframes are actually really simple. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.